Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and in today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with nothing but rookies. And it's even getting worse than that with four rookies only. No squad side upgrades, uh, no squad size upgrades, nothing. We're straight up trying to form in it. And so far we're still in business. Two alien rulers are down by the time of this video. Uh, Viper King and Archon King have bit the dust it's only the berserk that is left over the berserk queen that is so we'll come to her eventually but for now it is time for operation gilded cavern a dark uh, mission where we're trying to recover an item from advent train of course that's a bit more difficult if we do not have uh, the means to hack but we got ace and shin uh, shimrod here ace will hopefully grapple towards the target and uh, with uh, the big fat weapon uh, that he's carrying that should be no problem we also take uh, blue screen rounds times two to mimic beacons and uh, are we going to go uh, with uh, the med kit or are we rather going with alert i think we're going with alert for now that seems like a good idea and last but certainly not least i should show you something else we got weapon upgrades. Thankfully, our weapons, uh, many of them, now have free uh, reloaders because we got that third weapon mod, which is fantastic. Uh, delicious to have three mods. So those weapons are really, really well modified now. Uh, we're rocking all of them are rocking repeaters, most of them free reloads, just so that Codex uh, bombs will not hinder our momentum and uh, we still are looking for reasonable upgrades for scopes but i am confident that in the next few months the rngs will shine upon us and give that to us as well all right enough bobbling let's go into the mission here we go guys very good and we landed so let's take a good look at uh, the things that are happening so first and foremost we got a double agent amongst ourselves a little trooper what's his name let's call him carlo a little trooper carlo joined us and will fight with us amongst uh, the others we got seven turns to get to here but thankfully we have a grapple suit and the longer that i play with them the more I get convinced uh, that the Serpent Suit is actually a very valuable addition. Interesting. Two towers. Okay, so far so good. Two super heavy turrets. Let's first of all get everybody up here. Synapse. Lyrical. And Shimrod. So there is a distinct disadvantage of clustering too much on the high ground, but for now we're fine. Ooh. That might change quite soon though. First enemy pack just arrived. And. Oh, and the losses are here. Great. So at least the ultrasonic lure that I've taken with me um, could make sense. So let's put Shinrod here. What I would want to do as an idea is we gotta get rid of the towers. Um, how far can he throw the grenade? Wow, look at this radius. Holy moly. Well, that is absurd. Okay. So when we're standing here, we could destroy the tower. Shinrod could use his uh, rocket launcher to destroy the other tower. <coughs> and we could very much use teamwork in order to give Shinrod another action. He's going to be the... MVP of uh, of this turn as he will get the most turns Let's start with Opening up the pack 
That elite uh, captain has a lot of hit points. Holy moly. This is dangerous, by the way. Good, let's start spawning some losts. Because soon they will help us. Very good. Loud of explosion. Hopefully will draw some loss towards us. There we go. Keep in mind the loss are our friends. As long as we do have ultrasonic lures. That would be great. We need one Mimic Beacon. I think uh, Lyrical will drop hers because she still has... Oh, wait a second. Look look at that. Double... Uh, single Codex double... Sectored. Okay. Well, that's a problem. <clears throat> but one, we, uh, one that we can solve in a second. One thing after the other, shall we? We have nothing to fear. Good rocket launcher it is. And let's just get rid of the second turret. Good, unfortunately can't move. But we could kill the captain down here. We do have a frostbite. Hmm. I don't think we need it yet. I don't think we need it yet. Let's not overcommit. up here careful not to pull these guys you know we could theoretically throw the mimic beak into here right right good that's in range of both of them And this here should be a nice little flanking shot, just so that we do have a second. A second angle on the whole situation. It's an open uh, ground without cover, so that's a bit of a problem. It's not the end of the world, though. Okay, lesson learned. I thought if there would be only a Mimic Beacon... Our operatives would definitely not get burned. Could have guessed that that was not the case. All right, more losts. Okay, cool. Help. 
Well, Shimrod has taken the very short end of the stick, that is for sure. Um, let's keep him a, f a little bit more back and we're just going to hunker down. Unfortunately, no water here that we could have used in order to just uh, take out the fire. Good. One thing after the other. Moving up here, and let's... Let's deal with the Codex first. There we go. Don't want a Psionic Bomb. But we could use an Ultrasonic Lure in order to deter all of the Lost. Let's clean up some of them on <clears throat> on this side. We do have a deep uh, magazine with a lot of shots. Hmm. Hmm. Gotta be careful, there might be other enemies over there. We're taking some more high ground. That's unfortunately a miss. Don't want to place ourselves too close to one another. Ah, not quite. I want that nice little crit, come on. Alright, he's down to 2 HP. If we move further to the back, we are still open for shots from the sectors. What's our chance of hitting this guy? 50-50 and sending in the open is not a good strategic move. Plus, there's still one more trooper down there. So, I'd much rather go here. and deal with an overwatch. No longer a threat. All right, very nice shots. Good job, the uh, dude. saving the mimic beacon unfortunately things could have been a bit easier if we would have been able 
uh, to put an ultrasonic lure on all three of them. Unfortunately, that is not the case. It might change now. There are quite a few loss. And I would really like to make sure that they are hunting Advent and not us. Good, we're moving over. Nice flanking position in this case. And that's where I would want to go next turn. We could theoretically grab over if my memory serves me well. That's good enough. Okay, so far so good. Moving over. And how do we get to the sector? So I think we could stand in the open here and use him as a quasi living mimic beacon and start peppering the sector here that's a miss but a potential explosion next turn getting some of the loss out of the way Do we want to position us over here? I hate uh, no cover spots. That's the set, just get rid of the zombie. It's a bit of a waste of an action, but okay, it is what it is. Yeah, and something along those lines here just to get all of the loss off of our back. Good, let's reload. And we're just going to stay in full cover here. Fifty-fifty. Oh wow. Well, well. I'm on the move. In that case, let's move over there. <clears throat> we got a new contender. The faces one just joined the uh, the fray. Nice. Psionic feedback made him immediately regret that uh, decision. Oh. 
<laughs> 10 points of damage. Okay. And we are very close to yet another explosion. Uh, yet, yet another swarm of lost, rather. Getting cleanly over here. And that finalizes our our mission timer. So far, so good. I don't know where all of the advents are. Maybe this is a heavy lost mission. Who knows? Synapse here. Let's get up the rooftop and thin out the swarm. Very soon another lost swarm will come. Yeah, I'll just reload instead of artificially shooting everything Carlos going to be our living mimic beacon and let's get into better position Shimrod is going over here all right let's reload and try that again Very good. Okay. Are we going to see a feral fight between... Oh yeah, we're... Oh yeah, we're seeing one. No, we're not seeing one. What? What? Why are they attacking us? Oh. Well, I know why they are attacking us, but it still sucks. Gotcha. It still sucks. Okay, let's get these guys off of our rooftop. Very good. We got outloaders, so this should be good. Immediately reloading. Let's just get out of here. Overwatch. Overwatch. Reload Carlo Overwatches and Shinrod Overwatches as well. They should not be able to reach us. Nice. 
twice hit 10 points of damage. That's pretty good. Okay, I have to wonder, is it now just us against the loss and that's pretty much it? Time to clean up some of those loss. I don't know if these are the last targets. It feels a bit awkward to just fight against two super heavy turrets in two packs. But maybe I'm scarred from playing Legendary Iron Man for too long. Typically you <coughs> have to go through more enemy packs. So something is off here. Can't put my finger on it yet. I'm a bit closer. Mark my words, guys. I just mentioned how it lo looks a bit odd. Mark my words. Good. The mech definitely needs to die. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that's a kill. Two, four, six, eight, nine. That's not a hundred percent kill. Where are the blue screen rounds? Not in here. Good, but this here could work out quite well. Heavy make seventy five per cent. Come on. 57% rather. Yeah, I didn't get it. Nope, that was a no no. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that's good. going to go in that's a good question but 
That's a good question. So a couple of uh, things here. Purifier doesn't matter. Heavy mech, we would almost not damage. So would we instead try to soften this guy up? That way this would be a kill. Okay. Free reload. Not free reload apparently. Yeah, but let's start hitting Advent. <clears throat> and let's not cluster up, that's the important part. Elsewise I could guarantee that micro missiles are going to hit us. Two, four, six, eight. Moving all the way back to here. And this should potentially spawn another pack of losts. Almost. And we're overwatching. Okay, we're spread out. Nice little hits on the mech. And potentially a direct hit for uh, Carlo here. Alright, Carlo ate the micro missiles, just like a champ. Massive swarm appears. We still got the mimic beacon left over, just in case something odd happens. <laughs> okay. Rolling. This here includes blue screen rounds. And that was a solid, almost 100% hit. Moving over here to increase the hit chance to 100%. I've missed too many 90 something percent shots. 100 it is. There we go. Good, now we can deal with the remaining lots. And that should hopefully be it. Good, more and more lost, but Shimrod takes good care of them. Gotcha. Although, wait a second, we had only one faceless one. There might be a second one. And I wonder why that has not yet revealed itself. So, hmm, if there is a second faceless one, and it if it really did not reveal itself yet, then, consequently, I must conclude that there is another Advent pack somewhere. Hmm, that is a, th a scary thought. But maybe I'm just oversensitive and maybe there isn't. Maybe there isn't, who knows.
Hmm. Let me think that through. What? All right, he could reach him. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Wow. Let's start with that dasher here. Alright, thank you. Good. Back to Shimrod because he has the best hit chances here. We're going to see very soon whether or not my intuition with that last pack was right. And maybe there isn't a second phase this one. We're going to see that right after killing this guy. My worst fears just materialized. We're green to go. Super solid position on the rooftop, so... Sam and Carlo will take it further. The rest... Just keeps the high ground. This is not an immediate uh, transformation, which means this is a transformation where we had been close. There we go. I knew it. I knew it. Oh boy, the game just keeps on giving us. And it's a beefy pack. Well, I think we got defensive measures left over. Currently no additional losses come in. Okay, so. Well, a couple of things, right? I mean, the Archon here, obvious target for us. Sam can reload. Don't want to take the overwatch shot, so... What I want is a nice little Mimic Beacon, where all of them can flock to. Carlo. Couldn't move. Rather reload and start hitting... The face is one. Getting a tiny bit closer. Ah, too dangerous. I need some sort of cover. Good cover. Um, yeah, potentially over here. And Overwatch. We can pull ourselves up next turn. Okay, he has the letter rounds. Very nasty.
Okay, so let's start. Trace arounds. This here should be a kill. Taking the high ground. Killing the mech. Kill On wow, the guy has 10 cover on top of the low ground. Hmm. Moving the designated coordinates. Full cover. Flanking position. Nope. Come on, focus. That's the problem of being a rookie. We can stand in the open with Carlo because he could be flanked anyways. Superior stock is good. Decent crit. I like it. And let's take this 50-50. Reload first. And keep on going. Nope. Interesting, he just tries to whittle the storm here. Uh, weather the storm rather but yeah he's just trying to stay there and hold out for as long as he can good time for the lead trooper to move up here carlos doing his best he's playing without fear one little shot in between 95% missed. Well, Carlos not immune to uh, to fear or jitters as well. Such misses can happen to the best of us. Not even close. And we have certainly not brought the best, so don't even think about it. Shield nicely removed, that was a good hit. Down to three hit points. Repositioning slightly so that we're not in grenade range from one another, just in short range. Another 75% uh, short missed. Another reload, just to keep our magazines topped up and 55%. There we go. Sometimes it's a matter of persistency. By the way, this mission here had quite a bit of difficulty in it. I would disagree that it was just difficult. It almost appears to me as very difficult. Yes, Carlo keeps on tanking these guys. Very good. Reinforcements? No. Okay, we're reloading just in case. I don't want to stand here with an empty gun. couple of dashers need to go. Very good. Shimrod keeps our backline safe. That's good. A 
Lyrakill on the other hand does the same. Let's reload and try to kill that lost. Synapse moves in with us. Carlo just gets the hell out of there. Reload Overwatch, Overwatch, and we should be good. Let, let the Lost charge into us. The last few remaining Losts will need to die. Okay, fantastic. Well, that's one down. Good and another one down. And another one down. I hope uh, this is it, right? Another pack, please. Overwatch, reload Overwatch, reload Overwatch, and Overwatch. Okay, it seems as if the game wants us to search, search and destroy the Lost or another pack. We are going to move forward, but only as a team. Okay. Good. Could we grapple up here? No, we can't yet. Okay. In which case, everybody is just overwatching. Another lost swarm and Cardo is on the front line. It's just unbelievable how these losses are continuing to be a menace to us. Okay, moving over here. Look, Cardo is aggressively moving in, okay? Moving out. Good, one more grapple up there. Synapse is moving in as well. And I would say Shinrod is Shimrod is taking that other side. Okay, cool. So what do we have as potential targets? There you go. Carlo becomes an essential part of the team. Killing these losts left and right. Very nice. Carlo got three kills. Good job, man. Enemies down. 
If you if you play with rookies only, those double agents feel like such a nice addition to the team. It's just free damage essentially. And since you play with really, really, really bad uh, units yourself, it's actually not too bad. That's one. And let's move over here. Negative damage. Synapse has failed to deliver damage there. Oh, I see. Okay, so that was the last, uh, the last actual pack. Okay, moving up. Let's aggressively try to eliminate these guys. That's a kill. That's another kill. Two, four, six, seven. Yep. And thankfully, Carlo, uh, Carlo has very much softened this guy up. Good. I think we finally got most of them. down here and that was hopefully the last one. Oh boy what a mission yeah 100 kills yet again those missions are really slaughter fests okay did we get a bonding Wow, how much more missions do you guys need together with one another? I do understand, Syna uh, Synapse, that you're skeptical of the Black Widow Lyrical who lost her old partner. But it was not her fault. She did not... Oh, a scope. Nice. Very good. Hello, Commander. It was not her fault. Hmm. Chance to panic when encountering the Chosen. We potentially need to remove that. Another scientist. Do we need a scientist? No, we currently need Intel. Because I want the plus 10 dodge on Roby. That needs to continue. And very soon we're likely being forced to prevent the Avatar project from pro uh, proceeding. Fantastic. Bond level 3 training for Aaron and Jerangs completed. Can't really train any of them. That's oh, so bad. I wish we could. Soldiers to spare, we should deploy them on a covert action with the resistance. 
I wish we could train rookies. In the meantime, we're training the PSYOP for nothing but fun, because I decided we want to do it with a four-man squad. That's important. That is very important. So that's the one thing which we should upgrade immediately. Quad turrets, yes, please. And engineer onto it. Great. For better aim. This will pay dividends. Mark my words. Oh, it's a fantastic building. We are soon ish going to be shot down. It's nothing on this end. All systems check out. It's almost as if our own signal. Mark my words. Perimeter alarm. Looking for a breach. Almost got it. There. It's one of those things. That the chosen have finally found us, Commander. We need to prepare. Operation Brooding Crow. Well. The one thing that is good with Operation Brooding Crone is we can bring a lot of soldiers, 10 to be precise. So let's do that. I'll um, set this up real quick. All right, that's the first team. We get Roby, Diva, Zane and Sonar in here. I put four heavy weapons with us just so that we have those nice little explosive rockets. I think they will serve as well also for shredding. Let's go into the next squad. All right, that is group number two. We got uh, Aaron and Jeranks, uh, Slicinator, who is going to be the bond made of XQS6. So we overall got four bond, uh, four bonds dropping into this mission. And Universe and Grell could be a team as well. I upgraded all of the weapons, so uh, we had quite a few spare parts lying around. Now is the right time for do or die. I don't want to lose this campaign just off of uh, being stingy. So these weapons had been modified. We brought a lot of utility here, uh, a couple of a couple of uh, extra, extra mimic beacons as well as uh, the ultrasonic lure, and of course for the first time our frost bomb. And that brings us to the end of this episode because the rest of it is loading and preparing for the massive onslaught we're being shot down and just in time the defense matrix was up to save the day couldn't have been uh, planned much better if you enjoy the campaign so far and if you are having your um, fingers crossed and if you're knocking on wood for it to continue then tune in in two days when this is going to go down until then thank you very much for watching smash the like button um, and see you all very soon bye bye